Jovit Squad, it's your favourite time of the week. It's that time once again where we make wrestlers compete to see who is worthy of a place on Ring of the Hawk. And because on Ring of the Hawk, we always listen to the fans. This week, New Jack won the vote and we'll be looking at his TNA run. And this run surprised me. Seriously, stay tuned. There's a lot going on in this episode. It's probably the most entertaining one I've done so far. And I will just say before we start, let's grade this whilst keeping everybody's personal opinions on the guys themselves. The Hawk is only interested in how this run went. The competition on Ring of the Hawk is seriously hotting up. It's great fun to make these videos. And we've got the Brock Lesnar in New Japan coming up along with Waylon Mercy. The Shove It Zone is still looking a bit empty though. It's only Garrett Bischoff and Fat Rain in there who failed in 30 or less matches. And of course, if you know a wrestler who could do the J-O-B to the H-A-W-K any night, any day, ha ha, shove their name in the comments, Jack. All right, New Jack, hardcore icon or smoking crack, let's find out. Match one, six man tag team match. It's Christopher Daniels and the Nazi brothers. What a weird team. All they have in common is that they're all bold and they'll be taking on Perry Saturn, who's also bold, and the Sandman, and a special mystery wrestler. It's our guy, New Jack. He appears in the ring and smashes Daniels with a trash can. This is a weird match. It's mostly just Saturn hitting some devastating moves on Daniels. Random observation here, but Sandman is the only one in the match with hair, and he barely has it. It breaks down after a couple of minutes and everyone is fighting all over the place. New Jack fights backstage with one of the Bold brothers and gets him on a table. He then points up to the steps and he heads up the balcony. He's about to jump but Brian Lee appears behind him and shoves New Jack off the balcony for a table. There's zero reaction from the commentary or the crowd. The problem is that everyone is fighting all over the arena so no one paid any attention to it. New Jack almost killed himself for no reason. In the ring, Saturn hits a Death Valley driver on a Bold Brother for the free. For some reason, Bart Gunn then appears in the ring out of nowhere and attacks Perry Saturn. He hasn't been seen in the US since Butterbean knocked him out. What a crazy first match on Ring of the Hawk. Unfortunately, our guy was barely on the screen. He was on there for about a combined 10 seconds. And all he did was go for a table for no reason and nobody cared about it. As far as debuts go, it was an F. I'm sorry. Match 2, the opener. Armed Asylum Triple Threat Tag Team Match. The Sandman teams up with New Jack, but our guy's missing for some reason. The other teams are Slash and Brian Lee with James Mitchell. And oh, New Jack suddenly appears in the ring to attack the New Church. The Nazi brothers are the other team in the match and they attack Sandman in the crowd. New Jack uses a cheese grater on Slash, but then Brian Lee takes him out of a kendo stick. Brian Lee then hits him with a trash can as it flies off the screen and possibly hits a goon in the crowd. New Jack gets a staple gun and attacks Slash with it who has busted open. New Jack decides to try and kill himself again. He has a chair and dives off the apron as he crashes into the barriers. I have no idea who he was trying to hit because there was no other wrestler on screen. He either missed someone by miles or he just wanted to break his arm for no reason. Everyone starts fighting all over the arena as you would expect. New Jack is busted open fighting Brian Lee in the crowd, but I'm not sure how it happened. Slash is pushed off the balcony for a table onto a Nazi brother. This match is nuts. Brian Lee and New Jack make their way up to some steps to the exact same place that he was thrown off from last week. Brian Lee charges at him and then New Jack tries a back body drop off the balcony for a table. It doesn't go well and it looks bad. Jack then stacks Slash up on a table, but his partner Sandman is thrown for a table by the Nazi brothers. Jack heads up the balcony again. Wait, he goes even higher this time. He dives with an elbow through the table. Damn, both men are dead. In the ring, the Bold Brothers kick a trash can into Sandman's face, and then they hit a double team move to put him away for the free. The commentary team blame New Jack brutally for this loss and say it was all his fault for taking himself out of the match. What a match it was though. I don't normally like hardcore matches that much, but this was a great match. As far as TV openers go, it was an A, but we're grading New Jack here. And I'm still giving him an A because he nearly died twice, so shove it. After this match, Bart Gunn is randomly being interviewed and Goldilocks says that he's starting out at the top of the card because he's taking on Perry Saturn. <laughs> I'm sorry, this isn't a video about him, but that just made me laugh for some reason. Before the third match, Sandman is yelling at New Jack for not having his back in the last match and then he gets shot in the face with a fireball. He's okay though because next week him and New Jack are just sat there playing chess. Jack cuts a promo that he doesn't care about winning or losing and his job is to jump off the highest thing possible. He says he doesn't care about belts because if he won one, he'd just pawn it. Match three, Brian Lee and Slash with Father James Mitchell versus the Sandman and New Jack. Brian Lee and Jack fight on the outside. It's all feeling a bit slow, unfortunately. Slash sets New Jack up on a table on the outside and he climbs onto the top. 
Sandman makes the save though and Kane's slash in the head. James Mitchell attacks Sandman with a prison shank. Perry sat and then runs in and makes the save. The match has not been thrown out though for some reason. New Jack climbs to the top with a chair and then nails Slash in the head. Mike Awesome then runs out who had a short stay with the New Church in TNA. His Ring of the Hawk episode is already on my Patreon. He picks up New Jack for a powerbomb and drives New Jack over the top to the outside and through the table. Oh god. They pin New Jack for the free. The lights then go out and then Just Incredible appears and goes nuts with a kendo stick. It's true, it does feel like we're watching an episode of ECW here. Mike Awesome looks like a combination of Braden Walker and Bret Hart here. This match wasn't great, but the bump at the end was, so I'll give it a C because New Jack nearly died. Match 4, Ultimate Sin, six-man tag team match. Accompanied by James Mitchell, it's Brian Lee, Slash and Mike Awesome versus Perry Saturn, New Jack and the Sandman. Saturn comes out wearing ECW merch, he just doesn't care. New Jack starts out hitting Slash with, oh god, what is that? It looks like something the Grim Reaper would use. He carves open Slash. He also gets him with a fork. Jack then grabs a staple gun, but Slash fights back and staples a dollar bill to New Jack's head. Jack and Slash fight on the outside, both covered in blood. Saturn slams Mike Awesome on the barbed wire ropes as Mike Tanay makes fun of WCW, saying, this is real barbed wire. On the outside, New Jack puts something on Slash's head. I have no idea what this blue thing is supposed to be. I'm not only colorblind, but stupid, so you tell me what it is. Saturn is trying to have a wrestling match while everyone else is just hitting each other with weapons. Awesome hits a power bomb on Sam Man through a table off the ring apron. New Jack sets Brian Lee up on a table on the outside, and then Perry Saturn hits an elbow drop onto him. New Jack is just full of energy in this match and dives from the top with a steel chair to cream slash, but he manages to somehow kick out of the pin attempt. New Jack then notices that there's a baseball bat hanging from the ceiling and he climbs up the ladder. Unfortunately for him, Slash pushes the ladder over. New Jack tumbles to the outside and goes for a table. Damn, how is this man still alive? People talk about the bumps that Jeff Hardy took. Every week, New Jack is trying to kill himself in TNA. Just incredible interferes in the match again and he hits Slash in the head with the bat. So Team ECW win this one. It was okay. It wasn't as good as the other hardcore match. I still quite liked it though. I'll give it a C because New Jack tried to kill himself. Match 5, triple threat match. New Jack starts out by throwing a trash can at JB and then he gets a microphone. He cuts a promo talking about all the shenanigans he got up to in ECW. Taking drugs, Paul Heyman, bestiality of a sheep and his hatred of Sabu. You know, the standard stuff. He's taking on the Sandman and Sabu. New Jack and Sabu fight in the ring while Sandman drinks in the crowd. Sabu opens New Jack up with a metal spike. Sandman finally arrives in the ring but Sabu is in control of the match and he hits New Jack with a trash can lid. New Jack then fights his staple gun and gets Sabu. New Jack now has a fork and is stabbing Sabu. Sabu fights back and tries to dive onto New Jack on the outside with the table, but Sandman whacks him off with a stick. New Jack and Sandman still seem to be friends at this point, and they put Sabu on a table. New Jack then finds a scissor lift and rises himself up to balcony level. And then he keeps going and going. Oh god, this is going to be his last match, isn't it? He dives with an elbow through the table, but misses. What a fool that is. Sandman is up in the balcony, so he can't break up the pin attempt, and Sabu wins the match. It was more like his knee through the table though. It was pretty quick. I give the match a C because New Jack tried to kill himself. Because of all the gang warfare going on in TNA, two tournaments were put into place. Our guy is put into the Asylum Alliance tournament. The winner of the tournament gets a punch in the gut. New Jack has been randomly teamed up with Shark Boy. He's shown backstage playing board games with Shark Boy. It's hilarious, but New Jack isn't a fan of his new partner. Queen Frosty! <laughs> I don't want to be in the ring with no damn fist. Match 6. Shark Boy and New Jack jump Ron the Truth Killings before the match. Truth has teamed up with one of the Nazis and their tag team partners who don't get on. Jack takes out our Truth a couple of times. We then get to see the first wrestling manoeuvre from New Jack's time in TNA as he hits a belly to belly on Truth. Shark Boy gets in the match but he doesn't do well so Jack helps him out. The Nazi boys then run in and ruin the match and attack everybody. They hit a H-bomb on New Jack. Truth then takes them out on his own and then he catches Shark Boy diving from the top and hits a power slam for the free. Jack hit one move in this match and they lost the handicap match, so it's an F. God damn this episode of Ring of the Hawk has grades all over the place. No idea where he's going to finish in the end. Match 7, hard 10 tournament match. So this is the other tournament. It has a bunch of weird rules. 
It's basically a hardcore match with point scoring and it's first to 10. You're only supposed to use weapons from the crowd, so it's basically just another attempt at TNA trying to resurrect ECW. It's Slash without Father James Mitchell versus New Jack in his only singles match in TNA. Mike Sanders is on commentary bragging that he won his tournament match and he'll take on the winner of this one. Slash wins a point by hitting New Jack with a lid, but then New Jack hits him back, so it's one all. On the outside, New Jack hits Slash with a trash can, 2-1. However, Slash instantly equalizes. Mike Sanders is like deaf on commentary. Sanders is constantly calling Brian Lee faker taker. How long ago was this comment relevant? New Jack scores a point diving with a chair. In the ring, Slash equals it up with a lid and then takes the lead with a leg drop. Slash then chucks the trash can at New Jack, not once but twice, and it sure wasn't nice. On the outside, New Jack nails a trash can shot. Slash scores a couple of trash can shots himself and is two points away from winning at this point. Jack then creams him with a chair. Now he gets some stuff from the crowd. Mike Sanders continues to make penis jokes. This guy is a massive goofball. New Jack then hits a shot onto Slash's slash zone. Jack hits a couple of weak weapon shots and now they're all tied up. They then trade weapon shots but neither of them have won yet because it's sudden death as you have to win by two or more points for some reason. The match continues and everybody looks confused. Jack's got a chair but he's just walking around. Why doesn't he use it? They fight on the top rope and then New Jack suddenly chucks Slash from the top and through a table. Jack is the winner. Didn't really enjoy it and I couldn't stomach Mike Sanders on commentary. Although I'm looking forward to New Jack beating him up on the next one. It's a D. Sharkboy and New Jack continue to play games between matches and Jack doesn't like how Sharkboy smells. Jesus Christ! Get your stinky ass out of my face! No! No, God! My ass is burning. You ain't wash your ass in a month. Despite that, New Jack defends Sharkboy when Saban tries to unmask him. The most irritating man in the world, Mike Sanders, stops him from beating up Saban, though. New Jack says he doesn't give a shit about Mike Sanders. He's definitely got that one right. Jack's cutting a fire promo, but the shark interrupts him, and he has Hulk hands. Jack promises to beat Shark Boy off with the hands after the match. Match 8, hard 10 matchup, semi finals. Mike Sanders, the most boring man in the world, versus New Jack. Sanders hides before the match and then runs out and hits New Jack with a trash can to score the first point. The fans have all brought weapons with them here, and it's evident. New Jack then equals up the points with authority. Sanders then takes an early lead. New Jack runs from the ring apron with the chair, but he misses Sanders and crashes into the barrier. Shark Boy comes out to watch the match for his friend. New Jack finally starts to catch up, and my favourite is probably the headbutt into the trash can on Sanders' nutsack. Sanders is struggling at this point, and Jack puts him on a table on the outside. Shark Boy then distracts him when he's about to jump and tells him to use the Hulk hands. The crowd then encourage him and New Jack starts to Hulk up. Then he punches Sanders with the Hulk hand off the apron and through the table. <laughs> I absolutely loved that ending and the odd couple team is great. I'm giving it a B for that feel good ending. New Jack is now in the final. The winner of the final would be named the most hardcore wrestler. <laughs> I'm not sure if it was a botch by Mike Tanay on commentary, but he says that the winner of the match will become the new hardcore champion. It would have made sense for them to have a hardcore title at this time with all the ECW guys. TNA also tried to have a hardcore division in 2010. They were going to rebrand the global title, but that didn't happen either. I'm not going to lie, I'm really enjoying this episode of Ring of the Hawk. There's something about these guys. He's hilarious, his promos are fire. And something happens in every match that makes it worth watching. And his team with Sharp Boy, there's just something that's perfect about it. I think Vince McMahon would have secretly loved this. New Jack gets annoyed with Sharp Boy because Sharp Boy wants to get Jack to come in the paddling pool with him. I'm not playing in this little pissy pool with you. I'm not doing it, alright? Black people don't play in the water good. Black people don't do water good. The last time they put a bunch of us in the water, it was in a boat and the ride wasn't no fun. I don't want to get in no water with you. What the hell is that? A damn octopus. I don't like this game. I gotta get in the water. Okay, and then we go from comedy to Stone Cold Serious as we get build up for the Hard 10 tournament final. New Jack says that he invented hardcore wrestling. He also said that he wishes it wasn't a Hard 10 match because he just wants a normal hardcore match. Yeah, well that's the problem with this match, isn't it? It forces the wrestlers to count the weapon shots and forces them into a format. Hardcore wrestling is best when it's free-flowing, explosive and unpredictable. No one wants to sit around counting things, that makes it boring. Match 9, Hard 10 tournament final. New Jack versus The Sandman. New Jack starts out losing as he has in all of these matches and he's cut open early on. New Jack fights back of a painful looking trash can shot. Jack then opens up on Sandman and it's pretty even. 
The fight continues into the crowd and onto some steps at the back of the building. They then start fighting along the rafters. And oh my god, that is one of the craziest spots I've ever seen. Jeff Hardy can shove it. That came out of nowhere. So Sandman has won the match. This is quite a hard match to rate. Nothing remarkable happened until that finish. I guess from an entertainment standpoint it's a B because that ending was just crazy and our guy has shown that he'll do anything to gain a place on the Ring of the Hawk roster. Another promo before the next match. I have no words. New Jack agrees to wear a shark boy mask for the next match. Well just like a shark, I'll go up in the water and he'll see a wounded fish, he'll eat him. Just like a fat snot nosed kid, a dig in his nose and pull out a bummer, he'll eat it. Tonight, your asses is gonna get a what? You are pain in my ass, but for some reason, this night, I'm gonna deal with it. If you turn to sit here and tell me to wear this mask, New Jack is over if he wear a mini skirt and some flip flops, it don't matter. Match 10, final match. Oh, I don't want this run to be over yet. The Nazi boys versus New Jack and Shark Boy. They are the new sharks. Jack takes out the brothers with a double clothesline. The crowd love this guy and won't stop chanting his name. New Jack grabs a chair and dives off the apron onto one of the brothers. Then he partially removes his mask and screams at him. The brothers hit a pretty nice double team move on Shark Boy as he gets isolated. New Jack then randomly throws a chair to the brothers so they pick it up and hit Sharky with it. What did you expect them to do? New Jack does get in the match eventually and hits a couple of scoop slams. Jack then hits a leg drop onto a chair but doesn't make a cover. New Jack tries to jump from the top with a chair but he's met with a chair shot from one of the brothers to wipe him out. The brothers then pick up New Jack and hit him with the H-bomb and pin him for the free. The brothers then decide to unmask Shark Boy. They do it but then Jack takes his mask off and puts it on Shark Boy. <laughs> he's such a caring partner. Shark Boy disappears but then runs back out with Hulk hands and takes out the bold brothers. You know you're doing something right when you make your audience care about a match involving the Nazi brothers. It gets a C. I don't know why this had to end, it was so entertaining. Well, as far as why this run ended, from what I can tell, Jeff Jarrett was getting tired of the language that New Jack would use, so Jack would just do it anyway to rub slap nuts the wrong way. So it sounded like tension with the management caused him to leave. The Shark Boy went on to team with Crash Holly after this in another pretty decent team, although they didn't have quite the same amount of chemistry as New Jack and Shark Boy. So wow, 10 matches and talk about a mixed bag. I'm going to have to add this up a minute. Well, it's official. We have a new leader on Ring of the Hawk because I'm going to give New Jack an overall B. He didn't need to do a million flips or wrestle 30 matches to do it. Crazy spots, crazy good promos and a crazy good tag team with Shark Boy. He worked hard and put his ass on the line for TNA. From an entertainment standpoint, this has to be the most enjoyable episode of Ring of the Hawk. I was on the edge of my seat waiting to see what he'd do next, so I have to thank you all for making New Jack win the vote. I really didn't expect it to be as good as it did, and I've had a talk with him, and the Hawk is in complete agreement. He wants New Jack to do the J-O-B every night, every day to the H-A-W-K, and he's awarding New Jack a Ring of the Hawk contract, a punch to the gut, and a private bird dance. What a lucky little fellow New Jack is. And if you don't agree with that, here's a picture of Wes Briscoe covered in piss.